Dog smart. Do you have a file that you want to add to your website, um, but maybe it doesn't have a URL, um, and it's not an image or anything like that, let's say a PDF? You can still add that to your website by clicking Add Media. Choose Files to Upload. If that doesn't work, choose Browser Uploader and then Browse. Find the PDF in this case that you want to upload and open that. And then here you'll see title, caption, description, and link URL. This is exactly what you see when you add an image to a post. However, this time, all we're going to do is grab the link and copy that. By the way, if you want to kind of take a shortcut, you can always click, you know, put a title like download um, the image here, and then click insert into post. By default, it'll put download by, by clicking here, and it links to that PDF. However, if you just want to use your own words, you can just click here to download, and then add the link just as you would any other link, like you're linking to a third party site. And there you go. Or you can take that link and create a page out of it. We're going to put the link directly into the content area. And this is the PDF link. And then we're going to scroll down here and choose frame as the page template. And then go ahead and click save. By choosing frame as the page template in this case, now when we go to preview this page, if somebody clicks on this page from your sidebar or whatnot, they don't even have to click you know, something else to download it. It will just immediately um, come to this little pop-up here that requests uh, gives, gives the user the opportunity to either save it or open it. Um, with the PDF, unfortunately, you can't necessarily frame a PDF directly into your website. All PDFs must be downloaded and viewed from something like Acrobat Reader. Um, so there's no way around uh, forcing people to download it. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, email Molly at realsafetomato.com. Dog smart.